for amen. Hallelujah. Psalms 84 and 11, hallelujah. Let us read this together, hallelujah. Ready? Read. For the Lord God is a son and a son. Say he's a protector. He's a protector. In this year, you're going to be protected. Man. There's a lot of people coming under attack right now. Yeah. But in this year, if you allow me to teach you, you're going to get protected. Amen. He said, he's a son and a shield. Let's pick up. The Lord will give grace and glory. Uh -huh. He's going to give us grace. Yeah. And he's going to share a little glory on us. He's going to uh -huh. drop a little glory on us. Yeah. Amen. We're going to share his glory. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he says, right here, let's just know. Start right there. No good thing. No Will he withhold from them uh -huh. that walk with right? Oh, uh, right here, we see you can trust him. Yes, trust him. And if you live with the purpose that he has set for you, these are promises that cannot be revoked. Oh, I felt something right there. I, I want to let you know today we, we're in position for the greatest miracle this year that we've ever been. Amen. See, the mindset has to change in order for you to do anything. Yes, sir. Right. And see, a lot of folks say, well, this new year, I'm going to do something. Amen. I said it earlier, I'm going to be redundant, but I'll repeat it again. Uh, see, you ain't got to wait to January 1 uh, to have a new year. Uh, hallelujah. I told you my new year was May the 8th, 1992. That's when I really met Jesus. Amen. And I've been walking with him since that time. Amen. 24 years. Somebody said, that's 24 years if you can't count. That's 24 years. Amen. And it's getting better. With every challenge, I see him in a different way. Amen. I'm going to tell somebody something today. Don't let challenges make you think that God is not with you. Amen. I'm going to tell you the greater the struggle, the greater the prize. Amen. If you would just hold on and don't give up. Amen. You're going to begin to live with purpose. Amen. Amen. Everything that we go through, we have a testimony. I wish I had a witness in here. Amen. You know, everything that we experience in life, we have to. God told me, He said, don't lie to the people, but be transparent. Amen. It doesn't matter. Make a difference. You know, God do use divorced people. Amen. You don't been married before. You know, a lot of churches won't let you preach. You know, that's their rules and revelations. Amen. Uh, but if you trust God, amen, he'll take a divorced person. Amen. Make them into something great. Praise the Lord. You don't have to be struck down by man's rules and regulations. Because in this year, we're going to live with purpose if we trust him. Amen. Could you give me the NLT version of that book, that passage right there? Could you click over? Amen. Can we read that out of the NLT version? Ready? Read. For the Lord God is our son and our shield. He gives grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. The reason why we're not moving in purpose is because a lot of folks doing the wrong thing want the right blessing. Yes, yes, yes. Everything has to shift this year. Everything has to shift this year. Every husband got to be a better husband. Amen. Every wife got to be a better wife. Amen. Every child that's in your home got to be a better child. Amen. Because now we're trying to go somewhere, and you can't go with folk on the boat that ain't rowing the way you're trying to go. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing worse than you trying to go one way and other folk rowing another way. I want to tell you today that if we live with purpose, we understand that God is a God that will bless us. He's a God of miracles. Amen. I don't think we understand that about uh, great man of God. We, we don't understand that. See, God don't just love the, 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 the pastor that got a big building. Amen. Uh, but he loves the pastor that just getting started. Amen. Uh, Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Because, you know what? It's just good to birth something new. Amen. Hallelujah. New fresh. Uh, you know, something new. Amen. You know, that exceeding joy. Amen. Amen. You know, it's just something to know that God has his hand on you and that you ain't finished until God says finish. Uh, see, some folk kind of get out. Some folks say, you know, they ain't going nowhere. You know, a lot of people think I'm not going to build a church off of iPhone. Lord, that's right. Amen. Mm. Amen. That's a lot of people think, you know, when you talk in your private time and don't believe what I'm saying, that's cool. You, you don't have to believe it. That's right. Because it ain't by your faith Amen. that it's done unto me. Amen. It's not my faith. And the people look around, I, I don't see a lot of folk. I don't know how he's going to do it. Well, I got some funny news to tell you. Amen. Jesus had 12 members when he only had left. Amen. And he shook the world. Yes, he did. You don't have to have a crowd. Amen. You just need some folk that's ready to grind. That's right. Because you can get there with a few people. Amen. How do you know that? Give me somebody out of the road. He said, well, two uh -huh. by three yeah. will come together. Amen. 
Not in your name. Uh -huh. yes, sir. Reason why we can't get nothing done, but we try to come in my name. Uh -huh. Who name you coming in? I'm coming in the name of all you can't do it. Mm -hmm. I'm coming in the name of Tommy, you can't do it. Yes. I'm coming in the name of Lass, I can't do it. Uh, uh, David said, you come at me with swords and spears. But I come to you uh, in the name of oh, I don't know about that. Hey, I'm not going to push me right now. I'll let you know. I come. Or five four. Yeah. In the name of the Lord. Nobody got to be people looking. He ain't going nowhere. Uh -huh. He losing folk. Folk leaving. They don't want to be there. Uh -huh. Well, everybody that leave, I just want to say thank you for why you held me, why you was there. Amen. 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 My faith will not be shook based on what people do. That's right. Right. Amen. It won't. My faith will not be shook. You know it's going to be a blessing when we get the iPhone and everybody doubt it. Say, you know what? He never changed his mind about where he was going. Amen. See, you know what? I'm not going to change my mind. It's all to bless some folk. Uh, Mama, you got to go on. Listen, ha, it's all to bless some people. See, see, he said, I can't change my mind based on you all. Why? Because a double-minded man is unstable no. in everything he do. If you don't know what you want to do, you can't accomplish nothing. Right. You double-minded. Right. My mind told me from when we started, we're going to build us a church off the high. Off the high. Off the high. Off the high. And I don't care what it looks like now, how many few folk, whatever we got. I say again, it ain't the number that counts. It's what you believe in God. Amen. 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 What kind of faith do you have? When Amen. things start cutting back, do you think uh, uh, something's wrong? How do you, how, how, let me tell you something. God don't operate like we operate. Amen. Amen. See, before God multiplied, he always cut back. He said, I prune some stuff yeah, out. Yeah. Cut some bad stuff away yeah, yeah. and get some stuff around you that don't need to be around you. Yeah, yeah. Then, you preach yeah, good. Yeah. Then, yeah. good. When you feel like you're all alone and don't nobody tell, but you still get up with your Bible every Sunday. Yeah. You still devote you every morning. Yeah. You still go to the church prayer. Yeah. You still pay a time yeah. You still do what God commanded you to do. And as long as you stay in the dark, he said, if I know the plans that I have for you, yeah. plans to prosper you. <laughs> but we have to stay, stay. on our faith, yes. fasting and praying, yes. uh, 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 not being moved by what people do. Amen. 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 Everybody's not going to the top. That's right. God told me I might even put a little, a little pause in my Facebook post when I say I see you at the top. Mm -hmm. He said, you might want to throw if you get there. Because everybody ain't gonna get there. That's right. That's right. Everybody wanna go there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But everybody might not get there. Amen. Because you got to know for a fact what God is doing in your life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can't be moved by the number of people you have. And it's hard to do that, but you got to live by faith and live on purpose. Amen. And if you live on purpose, amen, and you read these amen. scriptures, you know that God said He will do it for you. Mm -hmm. Do it. Amen. I made my mind up. I said, this year gonna be different for bad. You know, and I said, you know what, Lord, it's going to start with me. A lot of folk will change, but they want people to change. Amen. No, before change starts, it changes. It starts with you at your house, on your level. Amen. Change your stuff. Amen. And then things will begin to change. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Put Joshua 1 uh, on there for me and pull in at verse 5. Joshua 1 and pull in at verse 5 for me. Amen. Joshua 1. Pull in at verse 5. Can we read this together? Ready? Read. No one will be able to stand against you. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. Somebody will hinder you. Mm -hmm. Somebody will stop your program. Mm -hmm. Somebody will hinder the plan of God for you. Right. Let's start over. Ready? Read. No one will be able to stand against you as long with purpose. <laughs> See, let me tell y'all something today. The reason why we really can't climb the ladder of success in people of color, because people of color, we're too busy fighting one another. Amen. Mm -hmm. we were too busy trying to decide on our own how we're going to get there. Yeah. There's a lot of little churches out here. Amen. Amen. And the little churches can't even come together. That's right. You know why? Because everybody's trying to build their own worship center. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But I'm here to tell everybody, it matters where you go to church. You know, God has assigned certain people to certain people. Amen. 
And, and when you break your assignment and disconnect from them, you want to know why nothing ain't working and why everything going awry? It's because you can't just do whatever you want to do. That's right. So a lot of people think, I decided to uh, do this or that. No, the Bible says if you say you've been here and you study your work, the Bible says this, that the steps right of a saved person, right you didn't make no decision. God made the decision if you say right. How do you know that? I'm going to quote it again. Because again, some people didn't get it. So I'm going to quote it one more time. Amen. My steps, uh -huh. right wherever I go, yeah. of a righteous man, all uh -huh. on. Oh, uh, they're ordered by the Lord. By God. You may get into a sticky situation because you think that was your decision. Mm -hmm. But if you're really saved, you got to go back to the Word if you're a Word church. That's right. Then you got to know this that you didn't make that decision. That's right. That's because the. Mm -hmm. that, that, what you know what I'm going to tell you? That's if you're righteous. That's right. right. He said the steps of a righteous person is ordered by God. So now the only way you made a mistake. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, I don't want to say it. Because yeah. yeah. you make enemies when you say stuff. Mm -hmm. That you ain't righteous. Mm -hmm. no, he said, because if I'm righteous, yeah. everywhere I go, mm -hmm. everywhere I turn, mm -hmm. even when it gets ugly, mm -hmm. even when I don't understand it, uh -huh. mm -hmm. it's the reason I'm in the mood. Right. It's, it's the reason why people are talking about me. It's, it's the reason why people walk walking away. On, it's the reason why. Why? Because God ordered my steps. And I'm not arguing about my steps. Say amen to God. Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, everywhere I go, God's telling me to go there. I know you thought you came to check with me today, but cross your righteous man. And, uh, uh, you didn't go see babies this week. Amen. You didn't go to the big church, but you came here. Uh, I know you thought you came to check with me today, uh, but, but that wasn't your decision. Uh, because 2,000 years ago, uh, on January, church to do is get deep way in God. Amen. Amen. You apply scripture to all your life. Yes. Yes. Do not jump around in the Bible. Amen. Especially when you're young. Amen. Stay in a place where you can grow and learn. Yes. Yes. I feel if I don't say nothing else somebody got something to leave here with. Amen. Yes. Yeah. I'll say nothing else. Yeah. Everybody think, you know, we don't, we don't, when you wake up in the morning, you didn't wake up yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Christ woke you up. If you didn't go nowhere that day, it ain't because you wanted to stay home, it's because the steps. Got it? Got it? Yes. I, I, I know you might have like another church, but um, can't go here. Why? Because the Right. It's part of mine. God. And the only reason why we confuse is that we don't understand that God is in control. Yeah. Yeah. God is in control. Now, the only way we in control is we out of control. Amen. Amen. See, when you live in purpose, I told my, my son, I don't know nothing but the Bible. Amen. I don't know nothing but the word apostle. Right. Mama, I don't know nothing but the word. I've been playing church for 24 years. I've been saved for 24 years. I've been backsliding and come back. Yes, yes, right. I ain't never left. Mm -hmm. So I've been walking with him, studying his word, fasting and praying. Do you know how many pastors really still fasting and praying? No, I'm talking about fasting for real. Mm -hmm. No, because after a while you get good at preaching, you don't feel like you need to no more. Right. After a while you get on big church and a lot of people follow you. You don't have to fast no more. You've made it. Mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the greatest detriments I've done to myself. Was when my church was big, I stopped outreaching and I wasn't fasting like I used to. Mm -hmm. So God showed me who was the boss. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> he showed me it wasn't your preaching. Yes, you can preach, mm -hmm. but you were doing the work. Yes. Possibly I stopped working. Mm -hmm. See, because a lot of shepherds say you just can sit in the house now yes. and sit down on it. But if you ever notice, the day you sat down, that's when things start going around. Right. Last May, I peaked my evangelism crew back up. Amen. 
I went back to doing what was working. Amen. And normally you get back to it, it may not jump off like it should, but I repented to God. I cried before the church. Amen. I'm sorry because I failed, y'all. I told Brother Hall, I failed this church. Minister McCall told me this. I hadn't realized it been that long. I failed the church. You know how I failed, y'all? For two years, I never taught on tithe and offering. For two years, because I would, I would wrestle with y'all about money. Amen. Your money is between you and God. I have nothing to do with that. That's why I don't waste a lot of time. So if you really get saved, you just don't do what's right. Amen. But for two years, I didn't do it. And maybe that's why I'm struggling now financially. Because in order to grow in an area, you at least got to. How can they hear except for a preacher? Yes. So if you're not giving them what they need to hear, they will stay stagnated where they're at. So I did, and I apologize for those of you who are here now. I, I did y'all an injustice. Because I do know about giving. I do know how to teach that. But I'm too busy trying to think about other things, amen. Because I just feel like when people really get saved like me, when I got saved, my pa Pastor Jesus did not have to tell me to pay your tithe. He did not have to tell me to give an offer. He did not have to tell me that. All he was telling me what the word had to say, amen. And one thing about my leader, he, he graduated from Southeastern Bible College. So he, he wasn't just some, some cat that fell off the boat and started the church. Yeah. And he taught me, and I was telling my son, he taught me, and, and, and believe you me, you are no different than the fruit you fell away from. Oh, Reason why I can teach the word like I do, because I didn't come from a mother, a hooper. Right. I came from a mother, an educator. Yeah. His profession is education. Yeah. He works now at George Chickens as a history teacher. He taught me the work, and I sat there, and I learned. And now I can teach it, because you can't teach nothing that you ain't learned. You cannot go by what other folks say. Amen. Amen. God give you a shepherd, follow the leader, just stay with him. Amen. Why? Because if you want to live on purpose this year, know this: there's a place called victory that all believers should live. One of the things I think that's been a hindrance for me, too, since we're testifying and being transparent, amen, is that I have more patience for you all, and I love the church really more than I pay for my wife. Mm -hmm. I love this church more. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And some of the things we laugh about now, but it's true. Brother Hall, I'm going to give us a time that we hang up the phone that I'm going to tell you I love you before we hang up. I can't tell you how many times I hang up my wife and don't say that. Mm -hmm. yep. Carol, I don't leave the time that we talk on the phone. And if I am, I look around. I don't leave the time that y'all talk to me. And, unless y'all just hang up quick because y'all don't want to hear what I got to say in the benediction. <laughs> I tell all y'all, love you. And if I talk to a man, I say, love you, bro. I told you how we do that now. My wife brought that to my attention. She said, you show sure love everybody else. <laughs> we made it a joke, though. But she really meant that. Because we're so busy loving members mm -hmm. that the very people we should be loving better get in the play. Yeah. So now she be telling me, well, she leave the house. I love you, bro. <laughs> 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 right. I said, I love you, bro. <laughs> Bad yet, y'all. Yes. I love y'all way, way too much, I believe. I love the church better than I think the church loves me. Amen. I really believe that. Yes. Because I can't hurt y'all. But the church should always hurt me. Yes. I can't hurt you. I can't, I can't go out there and commit adultery. Amen. I can't do it. I can't take y'all money and, 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 and take the offerings and go and buy suits and, and, and you know take lavish trips. I can't do that. I don't care if we were filthy rich. I couldn't do that. Amen. I think we got money to be a help to the body. Am I right, brother? Amen. And if I don't have it, will I not still help? I don't have to have it, and I still help people in this church. Amen. What I've done here lately, and I'm asking God to help me, brother Hall. Even though I don't got money, I pay light bills. I pay rent. I'm not putting that business on black, but you don't know who it is. I don't even try to guess. But I took them with my own personal credit card because I don't have the money. But I pay your light bill, I pay your rent, I'll, I'll do something for you. Why? Because I want you to know, this ain't about me and it ain't about your money. 
I'm more concerned about you staying safe and staying here because you go anywhere you want to go. What's a bunch of sheep and of wolves in sheep clothes? When you learn church, you know how to move a crowd. You learn how to articulate properly. You know how to get the quiet saying just right. Amen. But you yourself, you're going to say when you stand before God, God, I'm building a big church. Lord, they were packing in there. I was doing this and I cast out that one. He said, yeah, but I ain't never know you. That's right. I'm telling you, living with purpose, you have to be transparent. Amen. You have to tell people the truth. The Bible says you will know the truth. Not a lie. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I've been free a long time. Amen. I've made a lot of mistakes as a leader. I'll be the first one to tell on me. Amen. Because a lot of things that we've done, a lot of money we've given away, if we don't need it bad enough and a whole thing swap, I'm not standing here. Amen. Okay. Amen. Amen. But God will return it. You know why he's going to return it? Because he told me. He said, cast your bread on the wall. That's just trusting in whatever you put your money in. You ain't going to wrong having God's people no matter what God's people do. Because you're going to get blessed based on what you do. Say, so I live with purpose. Yeah, yeah. I wake up with purpose. My wife once told me here a, a month or so ago, you need to go out and meet some folk. This is exactly what I told her. I ain't going out there to meet nobody. The folk I don't want out there and met and talk about this church. They come in here lying and, and, and messing with folk and, and undermining the ministry. Hey, because I got out there and met folk. Mm -hmm. And I bought them back here. Y'all know I bought them here. Yes. And they wind up being yeah. disingenuous. And I'm just genuine. I, I, I take things at face value. If you tell me you love me, I see, because when I tell you I love you, I want you just to believe that. And see, when you tell me you love me, I just believe that. But a lot of folk that I found out that I said that I love, in return when they say they love me, it wasn't true. Because when you love something, you stick with it. I love Sister Hall. Don't think every day in these 24 years has been easy. Amen. But I want every young person to know you can marry one woman and stay with her. Amen. That's right. You can stay with her. Now, mind you now, I'm on my second one. First one didn't work. First one didn't work. I won't try to hide that from nobody. It's on Facebook. I don't, you don't even remember that. I've been married before. And we went to church. We just was not saved. Amen. I'm going to repeat that. Yes, we went to church, me and my first wife. We just wasn't saved. And when, and when problems will come up about money, because that's the main thing come up in between couples, is money. Mm -hmm. Decisions in the house. See, she wanted to be the boss. She wanted to make all the decisions. Well, I wasn't saying, but I did understand some of what the pastor was talking about, about the man being the head. And I couldn't be that. I should tell her, I don't always live like this. I said that all, uh, for a lot of years in that house. I'm not going to always live like this. I'm not going to come home when you got stuff. Uh, when, when, when the water stuff came out, to put it on your roof to heat your stuff up. Hey, Amen. You're going to see when you're late, I come home for this on the house. You, we didn't, you didn't get the clearance through me. Amen. <laughs> hey, every woman may get angry with how I preach and teach because I just believe the truth. No woman has the authority to make decisions until she's checked with her husband. Amen. If you're married. Amen. Amen. Now go home and study. Make sure I'm right. That's really. Right. Really, if you marry, you, 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 you clear that through your husband. He's your head. That's right. See, we got too many women being the head of something that God ain't never told them to do. Yes. Oh, what you said. Come on now. Teach. But when you're living with purpose, a good woman will understand that. See, when we all get on the same page and we start working and loving each other the way we should, money comes, people join, things happen, promotions come. Amen. When, you got, when you're trying to work with people who don't understand the purpose why you're here, nobody's in the earth to stay at the club and smoke blood blunts and drink Cisco uh, and uh, Patron. Amen. You're not put in the earth to smoke weed and start pot and be a meth head. Can't you see what meth do to people? Amen. That's right. Is anybody stupid? Can't you see what enough sniffing cocaine wine? You, you ain't got no hair, you know, no nostrils, no brain. <laughs> Amen. Can't you see what abuse and alcohol do for you? You ain't got no liver. That's right. See, the Bible says we were put in the earth to obey God and keep it, fear God and keep his commandments. That's right. That's our purpose. That's living on purpose. When you come into the purpose of God, amen, you move in a arena where you never thought you could move. I close with a thought from Dr. Monroe. Amen. Right. 
Dr. Monroe says, don't get satisfied with your last accomplishment. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. I got satisfied because I was growing up where I was thinking, you know how it was going. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of satisfied. Mm -hmm. He said, but don't get satisfied with your last accomplishment because there's many more accomplishments yet to be perfected. Mm -hmm. yes. That means there's a whole lot more to do, y'all. Yes. 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 Instead of you getting comfortable thinking you're going to arrive. There's some more arrivals that's there for you to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Yes. Since you are full of potential, you should not be the same person next year that you are this year. Amen. I think it's a prime time to just share that since it's the new year. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to close with that. Yeah, yeah. There's more to say, but I, I just think you got to even know when to hush. Mm. That was enough. If I get in the moat, amen, if I'll mess the whole sermon up. There's so much more potential in us. Yeah. But we got satisfied in another place. Mm. But there's so much more we can do. There's a song that says, I'm not tired yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not tired yet. Mm -hmm. James Cleveland, the great singer, he said, I don't feel no ways tired. Mm -hmm. He said, I've come too far, come too far. from where I started, where I started from. from. He said, nobody told me. Nobody told me. That folk would do what I did. Nobody told me that. I just took church people at their word. You know, folks said they say got their little necklace on with Jesus on it. Yeah. Totally Bible. Yeah. Come to church. Yes. Say amen to your sermons. Yes, said, nobody told me that the road would be easy. Mm -hmm. But I'm so glad it didn't start there. Yeah, yeah. But he could have stopped right there. Yeah. But he came on in with another stanza. <laughs> he said, But! Yeah. Hey! Thank God for the blood. He said, But! Uh -huh. I! Uh -huh. mm. Don't believe. I don't believe. He ain't gonna make me believe. Uh -huh. But all, they gonna make me believe. I don't believe. Yeah, yeah. Do you believe? Uh -huh. Do you believe? Uh -huh. I just don't believe that he took us from the school. To give us our heel. And leave us dry and high. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, I don't believe he bought us this far just to leave us. Amen. Live with purpose, trust in this year. Understand who you are and whose you are. Amen. Make the changes in your home this year, starting today, that you need to make. And know that this is going to be the best year you ever had. My time is up, and I thank you for your time. You're resting on our feet. You're resting on our feet. Facebook, if you want to bless us, amen, and donate to us through the Giveify app, download it to your smartphone. Amen, download Giveify to your smartphone. Amen, you can give to us. Put in BAM International Fellowship 4071 Duke Free Road in the beautiful city of Orbendale. Hook it up, make an account, hook it up to your ATM card, credit cards, or however you want to do it. Amen. But give the finds a simple way to bless our church, our ministry. Go there, download it from the Google or Play Store, put Give the Fi in, put it out of information. Battle International Fellowship, 4071 Duke Free Road in the beautiful city of Orbendale. And no matter where you're at in the world watching this, you can sign up. And bless us in this year. Make it your make it your business to bless ministries that are standing in the middle of the road, not compromising the gospel of Christ. Thank you, Facebook, for signing off. Now listen, those of us who are here that's not saved, you're not saved. What do you mean, Bishop saved? Meaning that you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your life. I'm not talking about you go to church. There's a lot of people in church that say. There's a lot of people shouting and speaking in tongues that don't know God. The gifts of God 